They continue to escalate tensions with other nuclear... I think the, one of the key takeaways from tonight's debate is that we have a lot of great candidates that have a lot of really good policies um, from the Democratic side that are really excited and engaged and happy to speak about some really important issues. Um, we have a number of candidates that are, are really great. Vice President Biden. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for change America in a fundamental way. The America we know will no longer exist. Everybody knows. You know, I'm hopeful that a lot of the debate and a lot of the conversation that happens on the stage is a reflection of the Democrats trying to define themselves and not only define themselves as a party, but define themselves by listening to what voters and what citizens actually want. So I have um, not made up my mind about who I'm going to vote for. I think there's a lot of really good candidates that I'm very excited um, to learn more about. No president before President Trump enforced the law in the way he is enforced it because he's using it as the problem. My key takeaways is uh, there was no one particular person, you know, going after another. It was pretty evenly spread out in terms of, you know, holding candidates accountable to what they've done in the past and what their policies and plans are. So I'm a physical therapist, so I care. My number one concern is health care. And, um, you know, I support what Joe Biden is putting out. Medicare for all is not practical. You know, being being a healthcare professional, I know that healthcare is a lot more complex than just broadly saying Medicare for all. The battle for the soul of the Democratic Party. That's true. You know, I think um, uh, like progressives have been waiting to draw the party more towards the left. Uh, but I'm a moderate person, so you know, I, I mean, I do believe in progressive ideas, but I feel like uh, revolution is not practical. You know, you need to get there one step at a time. And as long as we are heading in that direction, we are good. That is the American dream, and so many of us have stories like that. But the dream of this... Most uh, of the candidates showed well both last night and tonight. Um, I will admit some partiality to Cory Booker because I'm from originally from New Jersey. Uh, but I think many of the candidates did a good job. I haven't selected one in particular. I think they're going to need to do some self-sorting uh, before we can really get on board with one team or another, but uh, it's exciting to watch. The mission. Who can stand up to Donald Trump is a question. Frankly, I would be delighted for any Democrat to stand up to Donald Trump, and I think I don't mean to be vague, but I think many of uh, the folks who are presenting themselves could do so. Uh, and I think a strong pairing, as I said, as a presidential candidate with a strong VP um, has uh, every chance in the world. Uh, I am about as anti-Trump as they come. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but it's true. I think we're witnessing the battle for the soul of the United States tonight. That's what I'm hearing behind me.